Welcome to a world of growth, money, massive potential. Sure, there are risks when it comes to doing business in China, but the rewards can be great. It's a quiet morning in Jingdao. Just offshore, you can just make out fishermen through the morning fog, tending their nets. The port city of roughly nine million people sits on China's Yellow Sea. Jingdao's claim to fame, it's beer. The brewery here sends its green bottles all over the world. Today though, the beers will have to wait. At least until the day is done, because it's fish business time. Welcome to the Jingdao Seafood Expo, the most important one in Asia. Today, 30,000 people will rush in through these doors. Inside, more than 1,300 companies from 45 countries, all here for the business of fish. But doing business in China is no easy task. There's challenges with physically getting here, and there's challenges with figuring out what, how to maneuver when you're here. There's language barriers, there's all those things. But if you can get through those pieces, the real work will start after you leave a show like this and you go home with your stack of business cards in your hand that's like three inches thick, and you start getting home emailing people. So it's the two months after you're home on the follow-up that's the real work for any company. Home for Jennifer Shepherd is in Winterton, Newfoundland. Here is her family operation, Green Seafoods. Her business, mussels, crab, whelks, and sea cucumbers. She exports all over, but says the Asian market is critical for her business. When you look at the population in China, you look at the potential in China for the, just the market that would buy the high-end seafood, it's phenomenal. These mussels are headed straight for Asia. These bags here end up in Hong Kong. So to keep business and to get new business, Jennifer has to make the yearly trek to Jingdao. <laughs> Asian countries, let's say, cast a wider net when it comes to seafood. So at this expo, you never know what you're gonna eat. Would you like to try? Yeah, no, I'd love to. Thank you. Mm, it's ridiculous how much seafood they eat here, right? I mean, uh, North Americans eat about seven, 15 pounds a, a year per person. In Asia, it's more like 80 pounds per person. So it's an insatiable appetite. Daryl Roach is a veteran of doing business in Asia. He's witnessed the potential for business grow firsthand. As China's so big and as the middle class really is starting to just explode in terms of spendable uh, disposable income, you're now seeing you know, inland provinces and inland cities that you know, uh, in China terms are small, but in, in North American terms are massive. And that word has gotten around, like all around the world around. This expo started 20 years ago in a small convention center. At this new location, it now takes up eight convention centers. Here's Canada's section. Here's Newfoundland's corner. And here's the rest of it. But if you think China may be filled up with seafood, think again. The cities like Dalian that are seven and eight and nine million population, the same thing with Qingdao, and even other cities that are further in the interior, these cities are now consuming more and more of that product. So it's, uh, there's just still a lot of growth potential for all the products in Atlantic and Eastern Canada. Adam Walsh, CBC News, Qingdao, China.